Hi beautiful thing guys, welcome to Temi's Beautiful Thoughts. Temi here, T-E-M-I. So today I'm gonna be swatching some new lipsticks that I got from Ame. Let's see, what are they called? I think they're called Lip Vibes. Yeah, Lip Vibes. They are a new collection at the um, drugstore. I just wanna swatch these lipsticks. I've worn only one of them. So I have my thoughts on one color but I wanted to at least go through the process of applying the other colors, solidify my thoughts, basically. So, um, actually I have, I also have, uh, what's this one called? This is called the Alme Smart Shade Butter Kiss thingy. I think it's kind of like one of those lip balm, but that has a little bit of color. And then I have their Goddess Gloss as well. Um, I don't wear gloss, I, well, I didn't used to wear gloss, but now I've been kind of dabbling, you know, a little bit. Um, I used to be um, subconscious about the way gloss make my lips look. They make my lips look a little bit bigger than they are. <laughs> but, you know, I'm getting over that like, hey, who cares? Let them look big, guys. It's nobody's business, right? If you want to stare my humongous lips all day, good luck. Just keep staring. <laughs> So let me just um, kind of show you guys what that butter kiss looks like. I think this shade is pink medium 100. Uh, I don't think it, it gives um, a lot of color. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. It does give color. Though. Wow. I didn't think it will give this much color. It is actually very pretty color oh this is very i actually like this but it's not like um regular gloss that it feels like slippery uh, it feels comfortable you know it's a bit more thick in texture than like a regular uh, well i don't know how okay i have there's one that i tried from revlon and that one feels a bit more tacky. This one doesn't feel as tacky as that one. I actually like this. Hmm. Yeah, I can see me wearing this to work. Because I like the color. Um, and I like the way that it feels. So that's good. All right. And this gloss, I think it's just a kind of like a clear. It looks like silver, pinkish. It's one of those like color shifting items. So let me see if I can get this open. I'm gonna put it on top of this. Feels a bit thick. Hmm. Yeah, it gives it. Oh yeah, it gives it that shine. It be not a bit. It gives it a lot more like, like um, reflection. I'm gonna take it off and apply it by itself. I want to see how it really looks by itself. Yeah, it's just a clear gloss that has like that iridescent silver pink shift. Well, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't know. Would I wear it by itself? No, nah, I don't think I'll wear it by itself. But I can see this being pretty on a lipstick. It feels a bit um, more tacky. And you know, uh, when gloss feels tacky like this, what I'm scared of is like when it wears down, it gives you like that white rim on the inner part of your lip. So that's one thing that i notice about glosses that are tacky like this so i don't know if this one would do that but that's the color what, what was what this color again uh, this color is halo yeah. all right so i'm just gonna go through and you know do like a speed swatch of all the lipstick colors and then at the end i'll let you guys know what i think about how they apply and stuff. Mm. This is Go Wild Matte. It's in a matte finish. Mm. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> this is worry less matte finish. This is Rise Up Cream. This has some sparkles in it, like some small glitter. Ghost Life. <laughs> this one left some glitter on my lips. Um, call Out Cream. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It's a good nude one. Smile Matte. This color is clashing with my eye look. <laughs> Be fearless. Matte. Five more to go. Wow, six. I have six more to go. I'm still not used to looking at the camera. Camera. Look at the camera. I'll get used to it soon. Don't worry, soon. I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, this is the color that I wore yesterday. Love Big Cream. You don't believe me if I tell you that I've had this makeup on since like 9 a.m. And I, I only just powdered now. I've been using, uh, what's it called? A sunscreen. I'll share it with you guys in another um, video. But the sunscreen, I swear, has been keeping me matte longer. No lie. <laughs> that's a good thing that's um a good way to encourage me to use sunscreen more often <laughs> this color is lighter than what's in the what's on the cap i didn't expect it to be like this it's, it looks more lilac than what this is Eat cake cream I don't know if I'm bold enough to wear this by itself out. Insta coin matte. Get crazy matte. This is like a like a brick red kind of color. Believe and it's cream and this one has those tiny little glitters This is like a wine wine like a burgundy What's the difference between burgundy and wine? I always use them interchangeably. Someone tell me what, what the difference is All right, the last one is a funky color is um dream It's a blue. It's, a, it's called Dream and the formula is um cream. This one doesn't have glitter. Have glitter. I like this color. Alright. So first application the application um it's a very soft um creamy smooth application but it's not one of those lipsticks where you just swipe and you get the full bold color no i had to like keep going to really get the color 
opaque and some of the colors i can still see my lips even this one i can still see my the pink color of my lips faintly shining through so it's not those kind of one swipe and you get a full color and it covers your entire lips so that's the first first thing that i noticed the second thing i notice is the formulas so the matte feels and looks more like a cream and then the cream formula feels and look more like a glossy finish lipstick so if i'm a matte girl right so if i went to the store and i picked one of these matte shades i would be disappointed because i'd be like this is not matte now does maybe it dries down over time and it looks more matte i don't know what color did i use yesterday so? yeah okay it's, it's cream i'm gonna use one um tomorrow one of the mattes and see if it um if it um dries down like if it sets to a matte finish but application it, it looks it had a shine and then even the application was very creamy feeling so that's that but the biggest takeaway for me personally is that i had to keep on layering the colors for it to build up and i'm not i'm a very um i want my lipstick to go white and i'm done okay i don't want to force i don't want to keep going because i'm always rushing <laughs> so i need a lipstick that i can open put on the top the bottom and i'm out <laughs> this lipstick is not it so i mean i am the colors that i think i like well i like the blue color okay i'm keeping the blue and i like um the get crazy the kind of brick red looking one and um the purplish looking one the insta insta queen and the only nude that i can wear call out oh right yeah so i um, i like this for this four colors right here the rest i can do without the fuchsia was a pretty color but i already have maybelline made for all in fuchsia that I, I love that formula and i love the way it applies you know that one is full color bam and you're good to go so i hope you guys um enjoyed this video let me know what colors are your favorites and if you guys are going to pick it up um they are 7 and 9 i got mine at um cbs now i don't know how much they are at target they're probably cheaper at target and walmart but at cbs they're 7.99 that's it for this video guys thank you so much once again for watching and um like i said i did a separate video where i tried out a lot of um army products if you guys want to see my thoughts i will link that video so you guys can check it out thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to subscribe guys if you like the video and you learned something or you found some kind of value in the video please um don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified whenever I um, upload a new video. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.